In our last tutorial, we went through the four questions and the four archetypes for our protagonist, as well as learned the formula which you can find in each of the 50 highest box office hits of all time. If you missed that part, you might want to review the last tutorial before you go any further. So now that we've answered the basic four questions, have defined our protagonist in terms of the four archetypes, and have created the formula, we've got a pretty good basis for our screenplay. Now it's time to flesh it out. Let's take a look at the hierarchy of a screenplay. First, you have the screenplay, the whole enchilada, beginning, middle, and end, all the characters, dialogue, shots, and anything else I've missed. Second, you have the acts, first act, second act, and third act. Third, you have the plot points. 44 of them. Remember that, 44. A plot point can consist of multiple scenes, so that's right below the plot points. And finally, last but not least, there are beats which provide the driving force within a scene. So what's a plot point? A plot point is a unique, discrete, and essential chunk of story information. And that's what we're going to concentrate on, how we fill out those 44 plot points spanning Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. Let's start with Act 1, the orphan phase for our protagonist. In the case of Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2, Peter Parker has had enough of being Spider-Man and decides to be a normal person. Just like in the fields we've entered prior to this, you'll be entering information into this field. Now, if you notice over in the tips pane, there's a description of what needs to be entered for each plot point. If you move the cursor into each field, the information to the right will change and prompt you as to what needs to be entered into each corresponding field. Now remember, most plot points usually consist of multiple scenes, so feel free to write multiple scenes in each plot point. Continue entering your plot points through plot point 12. At the end of Act 1, you'll be prompted to enter one final field, the central question. Remember that the central question is one that once is answered, ends the story. This central question is the core to your screenplay. Having it there to refer back to will help you stay on track with your story. Act 2 is usually no man's land, the forbidden zone for writers that don't have a firm grasp of their story. Contour helps you avoid the quicksand and the quagmires that bog down most writers. Remember that in Act 2 you have 28 plot points. 14 while your protagonist is in his wanderer phase, and 14 while he's in his warrior phase. Here's an extra added twist. Each odd number plot point 1, 3, 5, and 7 are plot points that move your character forward in their journey, and each even numbered plot point represents a roadblock, an obstacle, or something negative. In its simplest form, it's a series of yeses and noes, and each one of these reversals should increase in intensity. As in the first act, there are tips to help you write these series of reversals in the top pane. Also, if you get stuck, take a look at some of the examples we provided to you on the left-hand side to see how these are broken down. Remember that these first 14 plot points track our protagonist through his wanderer phase. In our example of Spider-Man 2, Peter learns that he just stinks at being normal. Now the second half of Act 2 is where we find our protagonist in his warrior phase, where he's pushed or has no choice but to fight for what he believes in. The Lord of the Rings The Two Towers and The Lord of the Rings Return of the King are excellent and pretty obvious examples of the warrior phase in action. The stakes get higher and higher. Again you have multiple scenes within each beat, so right away there's plenty of space available. Now by the end of Act 2, the conflict in your warrior's journey should be so intense that it should be off the charts. In Spider-Man 2, Peter Parker is battling Doc Ock to save Mary Jane and the city from a wayward reactor. Alright, so now we're in the home stretch. Act 3, the martyr phase. There are four, that's right, four plot points left. These are the literary equivalent of symbol crashes at the end of a symphony. Since we ended Act 2's warrior phase with a big fat no, we have to come back with a big fat yes. So you'll enter that big fat yes plot point in the first plot point. And we have to have, since this is a series of reversals, we'll have a big fat no after that. Whatever your big fat no is, enter it in that second field. And then, we have a bigger no. And in the case of our friend Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2, he lets Mary Jane go. He wants her to be safe, and the only way that she can be safe is to be without him. That's it. Game over for Peter Parker, right? 
Not quite. We have the final yes. That final yes answers the central question. In the case of Spider-Man 2, Mary Jane leaves John Jameson at the altar and shows up at Peter Parker's apartment. All we have now is for Peter to hear the call to adventure and Spider-Man is often swinging between buildings once more. One of the cool features in Contour is that while you're writing and have an idea for another story, random scene or joke or whatever, you can store those in the Ideas pane. Just click on the Ideas button, click the Add button, enter the type of idea, and then enter the information. Let's talk about the guide pane, but before we do, let's talk about landmarks. Landmarks in a story are like geographical landmarks. They provide you with familiar features on your journey so that you know where you are, and if you're lucky, you know where you're going. In a story, character plot or theme landmarks make the audience willing travel companions because these are moments that all good stories have in common. Contour provides you with a guide pane in which the software groups your plot points according to the landmarks. For more information about landmarks, consult your user's guide. Now once you're through creating your well-structured screenplay, you can print it out as either a structure report or a beat sheet. Now a structure report provides the contents of each plot point separately with all the beats combined. The beat sheet provides you with a report separating out the beats in each plot point and can be used as the treatment of your screenplay. In either case, choose File, Print, and either Beat Sheet or Structure to give you the type of report that you need. Now the last part of our tutorial covers importing and exporting. To export a file into Contour, simply choose File, Import, locate the file you'd like to import and click OK. Now to export a file simply choose File, Export, give your file a name and click Save. OK so that's it for our Contour tutorials. For more information check out our user's guide or contact us on the web. We're happy to help. For now though go out and write that multi-million dollar blockbuster today.